I am being preemptively called a liar before I even make a video on this. So I went ahead and made sure it's saved in every single form possible. And I'm going to have it for you in the pinned comments so you can see it with your own eyes. I wasn't even going to make a video on it. I was going to make a video on Clarence Thomas, and we are going to get to that in this video, and it's very important. But first, I have to talk about why I am being called a liar. Rebecca who is known from the Freedom Corner protest for filming sexual abuse on video. She is known for the protest for supporting Nazism on social media. And she's known for her hatred of different minorities all the time in English and Chinese, but the defense is always it must be translation. Well, there's another translation for you that I'm sure they're gonna try to explain away. Let me read what the translation is and you tell me if you think this is somehow a, a slight error. The temperature in D.C. has been close to 100 degrees in recent days. Two veterans who are staying in their car to watch over the J6ers have to move their campsite all the time. A parking spot cannot be used long term and can only be rebooked week by week. If the connection is not good, there will be no place to park for several days. There are no parking spaces during the recent tourist peak season, and they are financially tight and cannot afford the expense of hotel fees. They can only wait until the next campsite is available to solve the problem. They both hung a piece of absorbent cloth around their necks and poured some water on their heads every once in a while to cool down. The smell of sweat on their bodies could be smelled from three meters away. They were also Americans who took a shower every day. They kept their oath of enlistment and are willing to sacrifice their lives to this country. Today, they are still paying the price to the United States and the human rights of J6 political prisoners. The American military spirit is truly awe-inspiring. America will not be swallowed by the devil because there are countless patriots who will not bow the knee to ball. You heard that right. If you don't want to bow the knee to ball, stink. I wasn't even going to make a video on it. But when one of the mods for the J6 corner is preemptively calling me a liar before I... Before, I wasn't even going to make a video on this. I wasn't even going to put it on YouTube. So here it is for everyone. Just so you know, as I said, it's saved in as many forms as possible. There's no denial she said it. And she even included pictures of them in the tweet. See for yourself. With that being said, what is going on with Clarence Thomas? AOC has introduced articles of impeachment against Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito. And the main focus is, of course, the fact that they are not disclosing their financial gifts and other things. Their spouses legal interest in cases that are before the court and all sorts of other problems but that's not the only problem for clarence thomas because today today it came out that clarence thomas took a trip cruise to russia not only that he took a helicopter ride to go see putin's hometown now a lot of people are asking why does an american supreme court justice need to do these things why is he getting like why is he doing this, right? And it's worth remembering that a bunch of Republicans just a few years ago decided to spend the 4th of July in Moscow. It's curious how they, they do that and how they're always defending Russia. Especially when you have a Supreme Court justice who doesn't like to talk about, you know, where his money comes from. Very, very interesting timing that happened to be right along the time of the uh, articles of impeachment and, uh, I've seen a lot of people angry, uh, extra angry at Clarence Thomas, even some conservatives asking, why would he ever do this, even just for the optics, even if they don't think there's anything wrong with him doing it. The optics are terrible. 